Yeah, hi guys. Here I am in the city of Lafia, the heart of Nasara State, to correct the system, to troubleshoot a system. This is an existing system which was done by another installer. I was called upon to correct this system. First, I'll be telling you the problem which I saw with this uh, installation or with this configuration before I'll tell you the solution we will offer to you. First, the batteries are okay. They are a very good brand, which is carbon, that's lithium carbon batteries. And here we have a 5 kV twin 4 volt Yohako inverter. But the first thing which I observe here is that this configuration is poor because this household consumes a lot and they were just giving 10.2 kilowatts lithium battery. That's the first error. The second error is the configuration of the solar panels that is where the installer got it wrong and the battery have not been charging. I was told that most of the time during the around 3 or 4 pm in the evening the system goes off. And finally we are done with we are done with the reconfiguration of the system. Initially they had twin four panels on the roof and the whole twin four panels was used to charge these two uh 5.1 kilowatts lithium battery which is a carbon brand but even with that the battery we are not charging because the connection wasn't what it's supposed to be and the number of panels there are 250 watts each and each one is giving about 36 volts or about 32 volts and that is too low for a twin four volt system it needs a higher voltage to push the current so we decided to you know change the configuration and this time around we didn't use the whole twin four panels we just used 16 out of the twin four and this is around 12 o'clock. So we didn't allow uh, the battery to get filled before we started the test running. Right now, we have about 34% load running on this inverter. The pump in this house is on, other TVs are on, and the lighting point. And we have a uh, power consumption of 34%. And our battery, even with that, is at float, which is 27.4 volts. Right now, we have about 70 amps coming from the solar panels. You can see we have 70 amps coming from the solar panels which is a good one to you know withstand whatever load that will be on this inverter it will not be like it's an off-grid system because the, the solar panels will be supplying enough current to charge the battery and also to supply the load at the same time so we did the setting to the solar force that means even though when grid comes in the inverter will decide to use the solar power before using that of the battery in the evening time so with this setting, the battery will be charging and the appliances will still be running. But the appliances running during the day will be running from uh, the panels. So that's like an off-grid system. So with this, this system is corrected. Though I told them that this uh, two unit of 5.1 kilowatts uh, is too small for the house because this is a very big house. They have about nine fans, so that stuff that will be running on this system. So everything now is working fine as expected. 